Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whenever you are watching this video. This is the lady herself coming back at you with a second video of 2020. This is Miss CTC Temptation of Chicago Talk. Just wanted to um, extend to my family namaste and peace be on you that, and everybody that's watching this video. Now, tonight's topic, I'm going to be speaking about this main question. And a lot of people have been so confused with this. The question is, was Jesus a myth? And I wanted to just uh, briefly quote a famous quote from the late and great Frederick Douglass. Knowledge makes a man unfit to be a slave. Now, what does that mean? Basically, what that means is it's time as melanated people, we need to expand our awareness. And I mean, we need to expand our consciousness. You know, we need to become more aware about ourselves and we need to be more educated about living a better life life okay so the question is it was jesus a myth and based upon the uh, information that i researched um and it does state supposedly jesus the christ was known as the most famous man who lived now the question is this how do we know is, is this story a myth now fragments of text written on bits of parchment to overly abundant chips of wood allegedly savaged from his crucifixion and it was reported, allegedly, that um, no physical evidence of this life, of so-called Jesus life, as well as death, hold up to scientific scrutiny. So, this is how I look at it, you know, because a lot of people, especially in these black churches, talk about, oh, well, we're praising Jesus, we're praising Jesus. But my main question is, how do you know that Jesus even existed? Now, if you go back into the studies of the Bible, and I'm just, you know, and I don't want to offend anybody, but, you know, I have to get truthful with this. I mean, when you're going back into the study of the Bible, I mean, it's been written in so many different languages, written for so many different beliefs, till actuality, you know, unless we witness the two events with our own, the actual events of the Bible with our own two eyes, we really don't know whether everything is in there is, is historically correct. We really don't know. Now, it's certain scriptures that you could apply, you know, maybe towards your everyday living, and that's fine as well. But, you know, but far as getting caught up with all those stories, I mean, we really don't know if these stories are true or not. We really don't, you know, because the actual original Bible was written on scrolls. You know what I'm saying? So, I really feel, you know, this is just my honest opinion that a lot of melanated people we really need to start you know kind of backing off off these so-called religious beliefs especially if you really refer back to the the king james version of the bible that that bible was really written to control his the masses meaning that it was written though to control the people to control their thinking you know as far as the decisions that they made you know it's really time for us as people in general to stand up and make our own decisions that's the reason why that you know the creator had blessed us with our own minds you know our own levels of consciousness you know and that way we could have some sort of awareness about ourselves so you know what we really need to focus on them on the most and this is just my personal honest opinion about it we really need to focus on the most is about what we can do and what practices that we could um you know put into effect on how we could be able to live you know live a better life you know because it does say in the quote-unquote scriptures that as a man thinks so is he so if we end up you know educating ourselves you know and come up with some sort of skills about you know learn learn a skill about a, maybe using a trade or maybe going to medical school you know to help us in terms of better our lives so we could be independent and then we could be able to su succeed in life and then not to mention on how to eat right you know to live a healthy life you know and it's important as well to exercise and I'm just speaking about as far as what I've been experiencing because I've been in the gym now for almost six months you know and I've lost 17 pounds so far so it's all about you have to acknowledge and then expand your level of education in terms of what you can do 
in terms of becoming, you know, developing yourself to be a better person, to be able to, you know, be a service to yourself and be a service to others. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, constantly with these churches, they preaching all these stories, you know, and people staying in church all day, hooping and hollering and foaming at the mouth. You know, come on, man. It's time. It's, this is 2020. It's time for us to go forth and go to a higher level and extend our awareness and focus more about what can we do in terms of practicing to, you know, to live a more happier and prosperous life. You know, because it ain't all about so-called Jesus, you know, and what he was doing, you know, up until, you know, his crucifixion. Because if you really get down to it, when you follow the story, you don't know what the hell that man was doing between the ages of 12 and 33. We just don't know. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, those stories are missing. You know, and going back to what I said, you know, these Bibles were written in different scriptures, you know, I mean, not different scriptures, but different versions, different uh, faiths, different languages. We really don't know if everything in the Bible is the actual 100% true facts. We don't know. So we need to kind of expand our awareness and then just pay more attention to ourselves and what can we do to become better individuals and learn how to live a better, prosperous and happy life. So that's just my, you know, my intake on it. So ladies and gentlemen, leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think. And the main thing I ask for is to share and subscribe and put the like, uh, like, uh, smash that like button, you know, because as people, you know, we're into a new year. This is all about developing a new you, no matter if you want to extend your education or whether if you want to improve yourself far as uh, physically, financially. Do whatever it takes to become a better you. Because it's nobody that's going to make you a better you but you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, kind of like think on that. So, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, to all my subscribers, thank you so much for your love and for your support. So, I'm going to end this by saying that I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you, and I realize the creator in each and every one of you. So please make sure that you take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I mean, the main thing is to love yourself. So then until the next video, I'm going to drop the mic. Guys, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening or whenever you're watching this. You know, like I said, make sure that love, <clears throat> express love for yourself and others because love is the key. And, you know, also developing your mind, you know, to become a better person. So until the next video, I bid you all peace and you enjoy the rest of your day and take care.